Member for North Thailand. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. I rise today to talk about cybersecurity. Every October, Cybersecurity Awareness Month is recognized internationally. In today's digital world, keeping data safe is a top priority for everyone. At the highest level, cyber criminals have accessed private financial data at global co companies, interfered in democratic elections, and hacked millions of email accounts, all while operating from hidden locations in countries around the world. Cyber criminals are increasingly sophisticated, and that requires ongoing vigilance and up-to-date technology to fend off cyber attacks. We have all heard how hackers use phishing scams to access personal information on our devices, or use ransomware attacks to wreak havoc in entire networks. That is why the protection of people's data is a top priority for our government. British Columbians should have the utmost confidence that their information is protected and secured. That is why the Minister of Citizen Services has a 24-hour-a-day, seven-day-a-week cybersecurity team dedicated to protecting public data. And why in 2022, our government launched an engagement on the topic of cybersecurity across the public sector to understand what could, more could be done. For Cybersecurity Month, our government is also providing daily cybersecurity challenges to help people raise awareness for cybersecurity skills and learn best practices. For each day of October, British Columbians can participate in a daily online cybersecurity challenge for a chance to win a grand prize with every entry. Cybersecurity is everyone's responsibility, and sometimes the strongest ways to stay cyber secure are often the simplest. Such as remembering to change your password on a regular basis and making it a more complicated password than 1234 or the word password. The more we learn about staying safe online, the more resilient we'll be able to be against cyber threats. British Columbians can learn more about how to become cyber secure at www.bgov.bc.ca. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker.